This is probably one of the last games people expected me to make a video on, but you know what? I was feeling edgy, I was getting into the horror genre more, and I was feeling pretty confident in myself, and this horror game in particular is extremely unique. It's basically an interactive movie with quick time events, choices, and a lot of investigating and walking. Until Dawn was a huge hit when it released back in 2015 on the PlayStation 4, so I figured let's see how it holds up in 2021, and if it's still worth it for people who may be looking to try try the game in 2021. Now like I mentioned, this game heavily relies on choice. There are tons of choices you have to make in this game, some minor like how you want to climb, and some major that can actively trigger events that lead to saving a character or killing them. Now for all of Until Dawn's jump scares and psychological horror and anxiety, the thing that scared me the most truly were the decisions. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm not a very decisive person and I tend to overthink every choice rather than relying on instinct. So the whole game, I was just worried that the game was going to force me into a bad situation where someone's life is on the line, and I only have five seconds to make the right choice. And, uh, well, yeah, that definitely happened. And while I feel I still did pretty decent, I certainly wasn't perfect. And getting one of your favorite characters killed just gives you this huge guilt. The characters in this game are great, though. They all have different and unique personalities, and the game does a really good job of distincting them from one another. And you can tell which characters you're supposed to like and others to absolutely despise. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Emily. Possibly one of the most unlikable characters I've ever seen, but she's clearly like that by design. The characters' relationships with each other is something you also need to keep in mind. Pretty much everything you do can affect your outcome for the game. The narrative is really intriguing, though. The game takes place in a lodge up on this mountain in Canada, and after a tragic event that happened the year before, the entire group of friends come back to the lodge to try and have fun and move on from the tragic events from the year before. Except obviously there's something seriously wrong with this mountain and they'll soon realize that coming back to the lodge was the stupidest idea of all time. The way the characters and setting is built feels pretty real so the game feels really immersive and it makes you think about what you would do if you were actually in this position. That was something I thought was really cool and also scary about the game because if this was me I'm just hiding the whole time. I don't care. I don't care where where my friends are. I'm hiding bro. I no, I'm hiding. The first couple of chapters of the game start out pretty slow, but it's all built up, and when things start going down, it takes very few breaks. I really enjoyed this story though, it's got everything, thrills, scares, the game is one big adrenaline rush, and it's basically like watching a scary movie, except all the characters' fates lie in your hands. Until Dawn doesn't have a lot of gameplay elements since it's basically an interactive movie with its main focus being on the story. There's a lot of walking, and I mean a lot, along with a good amount of quick time events. There's also a few times where you get to aim a gun and shoot, but other than that, there's really nothing special or in-depth gameplay wise, which is honestly fine because of how unique the format and game feels. It didn't feel like the game needed this fully controllable gameplay system. Until Dawn has a lot of clues and these fortune telling totems, the totems allow you to see glimpses of future events so you can hopefully avoid or allow them to happen depending on whether they're positive or negative. The clues can unlock some extra dialogue and give you more insight into the mystery of what happened on Blackwood Mountain. Also fair warning, there's a lot of jump scares in Until Dawn and I mean a lot. So if you're easily scared and don't like jump scares, this game is really gonna stress you out. And they do such a good job of building them up that you're always feeling paranoid and trying to prepare yourself for a jump scare and while some of them are predictable, a lot of them you never see coming. I'll be here all week. Oh my! Ah. <laughs> the game constantly makes you feel like you're being followed or watched. That's probably because you are. This unsettling feeling follows you everywhere you go and you can never, ever feel safe or secure. It's such an uneasy feeling and even though I hated it in the moment, looking back, that's exactly how you want to feel when playing the game. The design and world building of Until Dawn is phenomenal. I love the snow, the creepy lodge, wooden cabins. It's a very immersive and realistic, grounded setting. The graphics still look phenomenal six years later. However, the performance is noticeably very choppy. The game hits 30 FPS on a good day, often dropping even below that, and even though it's not a huge deal, you don't need great frame rates for this game, this game could really benefit from an upgraded version with at least 60 FPS, and it would feel so much better to play.
Until Dawn is an innovative and unique entry in the horror genre and inspired a whole new category in the genre of choice-based horror games. As the creators of Until Dawn have also made Man of Medan and Little Hope, games very similar to that of Until Dawn. I love the freedom over the game that the choices give, and I loved how the game enforces the fear of failure and of making the wrong choice. And I grew to really like and connect with many of the characters, except you Emily, and the story was a wild ride to say the least. So I would definitely recommend Until Dawn in 2021. It's relatively cheap these days, and if you can get it on sale, even better. Also, remember this is a PlayStation exclusive, so sorry Xbox players, y'all are getting cheated once again. But let me know what you guys think of Until Dawn in the comments if you've played it already, and if you haven't, let me know if this video helped you decide whether or not to try the game. If you enjoyed this video, I've made a ton more like it for many other games, so check those out if you want, and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks for watching, and have a great day everybody. Bye.